this is 27 times uh, 9. Okay, we are going to rationalize the denominator for this right here. And this time, notice that we have a cube root and also a square root, okay? So, what can we do? But as always, <laughs> you should pause the video and try this first. Okay, what can we do? Well, first of all, let's just look at the radicals into their you know, fractional exponents form. So this right here is going to be the same as saying 1 over the cube root is the same as 3 to the 1 third power, and then the square root is the same as minus right here, and then 2 to the 1 half power. And now the idea is that I wish to have this raised to a power, and then likewise this to a power, so that I don't get any fractional exponents anymore in the denominator, and that would be ideal, right? And in this case, the idea is that I will have to look for the lowest common multiple of this 3 and this 2, namely the denominators of the fractional exponents. So that when I do this, do that to that power, they will be cancelled out to get whole number at the end. And of course, the lowest common denominator of 1 third and 1 half is just 6. So I want to take this raised to the 6th power and minus this to the 6th power. That's the idea. And with that being said, I also have to look at the following. It's pretty similar to one of the videos I did earlier, right? Anyway, I will just write this down for you guys. I will put this down. We need to factor a to the 6th power minus b to the 6th power, okay? And this is going to be my a, this is going to be my b. The first idea is that I will have to factor this to get the first part being a minus b times something else. And first of all, is this achievable? Yes, it is. Because if you look at this as a polynomial, this right here has a 0 when a is equal to b. When we have that, we know a minus b will be a factor of the factor differential of that. So this is definitely achievable, and in fact, the second part of the factoring here, it's pretty easy to remember. It's long, but the pattern to remember it, it's pretty easy, okay? So let me just write that down for you guys first, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Anyway, to factor this, we'll get a minus b times a to the fifth power plus a to the fourth power, b to the first power, and then plus a to the third power, b to the second power. And I think you guys see the pattern. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 for the powers of A, and then just add them up. In the meantime, also build out the power for the B, B to the 0, B to the 1st, B to the 2nd, and so on, until B to the 5th, okay? So that's the idea. And in fact, if you want to factor out A to the N minus B to the N, it's going to be like that as well. The first factor is A minus B times the second part, it's just exactly what I'm doing right here. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, I will just write this down for you guys. The next one is going to be plus, I have a to the third earlier, so I'm going to go down by one for the power, so it's going to be a to the second, and then b to the third, and then we add a to the first, b to the fourth, and lastly, we will have plus b to the fifth, like this, okay? And it's just like when we were doing rationalize the denominator, when we have two terms in the denominators, and we have square roots. We call them to be conjugate, right? That's a conjugate strategy. The idea is that this is pretty much like the conjugate of that. We have this already, okay? So all I have to do is, I will multiply this by this part and setting A is equal to this and B is equal to that, and we'll be done. And because you know this right here, it's pretty long, so I will just call this to be a star with a circle like this, okay? And yes, I will show you guys how to factor that, but let's just finish this, okay? So, we will multiply the top and bottom by this part. And as I said, a is equal to this, 3 to the 1 third power, and b is equal to that, 2 to the 1 half power. And seriously, it depends if you like radical more or you like the powers in the ration, rational fraction power more, up to you. But in the end, you will see, the denominator, in fact, really, really easy. Why? Because if you look at a to a 6 minus b to a 6, in this case, let's just do it on the side. Uh, let's see. Let's just do it like this, okay? If you have this to the 6th power, this to the 6th power, this to the 6, this to the 6, right? You will see a to the 6 minus b to the 6, it's going to be, well, here it is, 3 to the 1 third to the 6. You multiply the powers, it becomes 
3 to the second, and then 2 to the 1 half to the 6, you multiply the powers, this becomes 2 to the third, and it's a minus in between, right? Minus, so it's 2 to the third. And notice that this right here is just 9 minus 8, which is nicely equal to 1. So you know the denominator in the end is just going to be over 1. So you don't even have to put on over 1 if you don't want to, right? So the theory is that I will just have to multiply the top by this, which is also 1, and I'll just have to write down the A and B uh, respectively uh, to that form. So I'll just write down the answer for you guys, okay? It's just this part with A being equal to that. So let's see. Now, because we start off with radical 4, I will end up with radical 4 as well. First of all, I will have to do a to the fifth power, namely this to the fifth power, namely I will just work out 3 to the fifth power, right? And that's still in the cube root though, okay? So it's going to be the cube root of 3 to the fifth power, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, so 243. Okay, this is a to the fifth power. And then we add, this is quite a challenge because now it's like going crazy, okay? a to the fourth power is going to be the cube root of uh, 3 to the, fifth, uh, to the fourth power, and you know it's going to be 81 here, and you multiply by the square root of 2 because that was the b, right? And then that's pretty much the idea, you just go ahead and do the rest. 3 to the third power, which is going to be 27, times square root of, uh, let's just write it down as square root of 4, okay? I know you can simplify more, but you know, seriously, uh, just leave that later on. Next, q root of 9 times square root of 8, and then plus q root of 3, and we will have square root of 16, and lastly, we add it with the square root of 32, right? Because 2 to the uh, fifth power. And if you would like, seriously, the denominator is equal to 1, so I should just uh, put this down <laughs> over 1, right? And uh, like, I, I, I don't know if you guys want me to simplify this or not. Uh, I might, I don't know, let's see. Uh, let's see, we can use 27, right? 27, this is 27 times, uh, 9. <laughs> so we have 3 q root of 9, right? And this is 27 times 3 inside, so it becomes a nice 3 outside, and then the cube root of 3, square root of 2, and then this is nicely equal to, oh, we have a whole number here, look at that. This is 3 times 2, which is 6, right? And this is just that, so that's good, but we'll have to simplify this guy now. Namely, we have a 2, square root of 2, and then this is the cube root of 9, square root of 2. Uh, for this right here, this is just 4, and that's just that. And lastly, this is plus 4, square root of 2. And look at that, we are done. And some people may ask, like, what's the point of rationalizing the denominator? Uh, <laughs> you can check out my other video for it. Uh, if the situation was easier in the square root situation, right? you can check out my other videos for that. But of course, before we go, I will have to show you guys how to factor this guy, right? So, as I told you, this is the pattern, but if you want to see how to factor this right here, this is what we can do. Let's look at this right here as the, uh, as the difference of uh, two squares first, okay? So, in other words, we can look at this as a to the third power, and then square minus b to the third power, and then square, right? Based on that, we can factor this out as a, well, to a third power minus b to a third power. Let me just write it down like this. a to a third power minus b to the third power. And then we multiply by a to the third power plus b to the third power, like that. Okay, this part, we can keep factoring it, right? So when you factor that, you get, it's just like the formula pretty much, a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. And then we still have to multiply by this guy. So that's the a to the third power plus b to the third power, okay? And in the end, here you have a minus b, and then seriously, just take some time to multiply this out, okay, on your own, and you'll see this is the same as that, okay? 
But anyway, hopefully you guys like this video and you guys can comment down below and let me know like, what do you think about rationalizer denominator. And of course, after you finish your high school algebra class or any algebra class or whatsoever, you don't need to rationalize the denominator anymore in your calculus class, in differential equation class, right? This is just as legit as that. But it's also kind of fun, isn't it? Because uh, you have to be creative to think about what the things you can do to get another form or yeah, that's it.